Okay, so I'm working with my large sheet of good paper and I'm, I'm done. Some of you guys still might be doing this and that's okay. But again, we uh, created our center line and our center lines were marked just like on our original reference. Okay, so keep, you can imagine them lining up like this. Okay, um, and we've done the same thing on here as we did here. We measured equal increments moving outwards except on our reference photo we did one centimeter increment okay all the way around and then on our larger sheet of paper we decided we wanted to make it about one and a half times larger um, for this assignment so we decided to increase the increments to 1.5 centimeters so you carefully measured one and a half centimeters moving outwards you could either count by 1.5 or you can just continue to move your ruler over and over and over and mark the 1.5 okay so I did that all the way around and now what I'm doing um, just like with the reference before I go ahead and use a meter stick and start connecting lines I want to just double check does this space look the same as this one they should both be 1.5 if these two are correct that means moving outward they're correct so I'm just going to continue turning this around this is the next side they look the same to me both 1.5 okay all good I'm going to turn double check this one this should be 1.5 and this one should be 1.5 and if they both look good then they're correct moving outwards and last side okay this one feels the same as this one so I'm good to go so now I'm going to go get my meter stick and again I'm going to start connecting lines beginning in the middle of the sheet and then working my way outwards this way and then on the opposite side beginning to connect these dots and working my grid outwards this way and then you can turn your paper and again create your grid lines from the center moving outwards. The reason why again we're working from the center is because it's easier to connect these points at the top and the bottom rather than like oddly spaced ones at the end which could mix you up and then give you a very weird diagonal grid. Okay, so always work from the center out. And again, you should end up with a grid here that looks similar to this one, nice and full with your four corners still marked. Um, except obviously your squares are going to be one by 1.5 by 1.5 as opposed to 1.1. Any questions? Here we're good.